Hello everyone, this is Freya and welcome to a new episode of A Discovery of Nordic Witchcraft. In this episode we are going to talk about spiritual apathy in our life and the witchcraft practice. <laughs> on earth, highs and lows of mental and emotional, physical, therefore etheric levels of consciousness, each affect each other as they are all connected. When this happens, we experience apathy. Mentally, all aspects of life may no longer make sense. Thoughts become very abstract and so does our witchcraft practice. We must defend the purity of experience. evolved emotions, instead the song here is going to change for many of you. When a practitioner begins to develop insight into phenomena, there is a definite stage where the main emotions experienced are fear, despair, anger, restlessness and Apathy. It is absolutely unavoidable, but the intensity varies per individual. Sami shamans would call this the dark water of Vasioka, the river of the soul. This stage is definitely part of the spiritual journey. Swimming in the dark waters of Vasioka is a rite of passage that occurs when our intelligence is ready to break free from the tyranny of our ignorance. While living in a controlled environment of spiritual growth, I have always anticipated the long-awaited ego death, but had no idea of how actually to go through it. It wasn't until I moved to the wilds of the tundra that the outer landscape, like an old Sami elder, had me realize we simply endure. We endure all things in life, whether we want or not. If you are swimming in the dark waters of Fasiok, you are simply going through a disintegration 
the process of losing cohesion or strength or coming to pieces because the reality that is formerly known and explored suddenly becomes torn apart piece by piece. What was once solid is now fluid. What was once known is now a mystery. Emotions can change due to the slightest trigger. Darkness and despair become your friend and the thought of being as you once were becomes unthinkable while simultaneously not knowing who else you could be. Congratulations, your inner landscape is now a beautiful reflection of the outer landscape. Those who maintain their heads during the journey into this sort of underworld return contaminated by that underworld. Their arms are now twisted branches and the soil their very own feet. Life has a way of bringing altering experiences our way. And if we don't see them as enhancing, not taking away from our well-being, then they will come over and over again until we extract the knowledge. How can we reach the point where the dark waters of Vasiok are crystal clear again by altering chaos into order. You see, it is the alchemic transformation of chaos into order that allows us to come face to face with the gods, that gives us our purpose and the meaning in life. And the very meaning is what gives us identity. Seeking chaos means to find what makes you wake up in the morning, find out what makes you, you. How do we poke the mythological Jotun of chaos into breathing fire on our souls, burning our ignorance from the inside out? I think if it is supposed to happen, it will happen by itself. One thing is for sure, we must constantly approach the unknown and unexplored areas of life in order to keep growing, expanding and converting chaos into order. You see, to endure is our greatest asset in life. And without it, we will never dare to swim in the dark waters of Asioka in order to reach the point where they become crystal clear and never explore that which we don't know and what truly makes us happy. This rebirth happens on the border in between dark waters and the clear waters, which are the borders between the known and the unknown. The gods can grab our hands exactly in that point. There they can act through the individual and extend the domain of history and their sagas. At the end of the day, what did the gods do? They endured. Thank you so very much for watching this video. Thanks for spending some of your time here with me today. It's been truly appreciated and I'll see you all in my next video. Thanks, Mike. Hey, do.